Oh. I didn't see you there. But since you're here, let me tell you about how we're going to revolutionize computer science education. Let's face it, there's no way to imagine work without IT these days. But when it comes to education, it's all a bit different. Those with the luxury of real programming classes know that it's mostly just coding up virtual calculators. But I'm going to show you how we are going to change all that. Endme is a typical simulation game. We simulate a little world and it has game elements, like this sugar and this ant. It's up to the player to program the ant's brain, so that it'll be able to handle the simulation on its own. So that the ant runs around, discovers some sugar, and the player decides how it should react. In this case, we decide it should pick up the sugar and bring it back to the ant hill. And the other ants are very happy about that. Our game quickly accomplishes what other educational projects don't. The ant scenario is very intuitive. Everyone knows that ants collect sugar. And even later, when trails are added, everyone knows what they're for, too. So the learning curve is pretty flat. We start with four lines of code, enough to collect some sugar. But you can make things much more complex if you want to handle the other game elements. There are also bugs, apples, anthills and much other stuff. We use complicated things from computer science in a playful way. But it's possible to quickly learn the theory with the educational material that we provide. Let's take a look at the code. Instead of using a made-up language, we work with real industry standard tools. We teach C Sharp and use Visual Studio as the editor. But unlike the industry, we don't use English as the main language, but we use each player's own native language. That lowers the barrier of entry and makes the game more accessible, especially for young players. Endme is already several years old. We use it regularly in our own lectures in order to explain simple concepts as well as very complex computer science problems. Schools use it in classes, universities use it to motivate their students, and companies have discovered that trainees really like it. But the game really shines when young people get their hands on it. We've tried it out at many trade fairs. We've been to Seabird, to the Ideen Park, to Gamescom and many others. It's just wonderful to see young people discover programming. So, what's the point of this campaign? Endme is free, and we want to keep it that way. But a lot of people work on Endme investing a lot of time. There's me, Tom, the guy in the video, and Nick, the voice, and Patrick, and a lot of freelancers and friends working on this project. Since quality is extremely important to us, we are trying to find the right experts for all the jobs that crop up. We have an illustrator working on new graphics, a 3D artist building new models, and we even have a composer. And there are also experts working on the pedagogical models. That's a lot of work, and that's why we need your support. So, friends, if you already enjoy Endme, or just want to be a force for good, or just think the project's awesome, this is your chance. Help us make a real learning game and raise the best generations of programmers ever.